Hi guys, this is just a really short video on how to write your proposal, which is, as you know, an essential component of your folio. Um, remember that it can only be 500 words, so while we want um, detail, we also want you to um, not ramble on and on and on. So try and cover the things you need to cover, but keep it under 500 words. Okay, so what you want to start with is your research question. Okay, just state it exactly how you've come up with it. Then you want to give us a really basic background. How did you come up with that question? What questions did you maybe consider before you got to that question? Um, this stage is really important to show us that performance standards where you talk about refining your topic, um, showing us that you've really thought about all the different avenues you could possibly go down and then you've eventually come up with this topic. Okay. Um, next, you want to cover your prior knowledge in this area. So this is going to link really well into background because you might already have some past experience or maybe some interest in that area and that's what led you to this topic. Um, the next thing you want to do is put some guiding questions in here. These are also known as focus questions. You might have about four or five and it's basically just breaking down your larger question into smaller chunks and they're a bit more detailed. So it's, you know, different aspects of your larger question. Okay, next what you want to talk about are the research processes that you're going to use. Um, so these are also called re research methodologies. So um, exactly how will you be finding your information? Will you be doing um, surveys? Will you be talking directly to people um, and getting primary resources? Or will you be um, doing secondary research as we've got here? Okay, so maybe you'll be reading um, a lot of online articles, you'll be um, going through newspapers, you'll be finding brochures, anything that's relevant. But you need to be really specific before you start looking. You need to be specific about, okay, where am I going to look? So where am I thinking of heading and where am I going to find the best information for my topic? Alright, the next thing you need to talk about are ethical issues and personal bias. So there's actually a link to all the ethical guidelines um, that the SACE website has put out. And that's that big document on our website, our class website. Um, just making sure, you know, is anyone going to be offended? Is anyone going to be hurt by this? What kind of things do I need to think about in terms of confidentiality and letting, make sure, making sure I have permission basically to use the things that I'm finding? Okay, nearly there. Next you need to, <clears throat> excuse me, next you need to discuss your capability or capabilities. Now I really recommend you don't go over two. Okay, so just talk about your capability and try and put it in your own words. Tell us how you're going to, um, I guess, focus on that capability throughout your research. Make it really personalized so that your marker can see that you really understand what your capability is. Okay. Lastly, here we want you to do a bit of a prediction. Now obviously um, your outcome may change once you've finished your folio, but we want you to kind of think about where am I headed with this? Once I've got my research, what am I thinking of creating for my outcome? Okay. So remember that this can be up to 500 words um, and keep it really concise, but you want to personalise this document so that we can really see evidence of that planning. All right. Come and see me if you come and see me if you need help, and um, I'll see you in class. Thanks, guys.